guys, that's it big. Right, I'll just to show someone how to do a background. Now this is a very quick example. Right, find a site with a background you like. Make sure you're 100%. Uh, right click, save, and give it a name. Basically what we're going to do is nick someone else's background shapes. Go to Photoshop and open up the file that you just saved. Okay, so we've just nicked this from someone's site. Right, so you make sure you've got your uh, square layer, but one with slightly rounded edges here. Pick one of your plain styles. You don't want all the uh, beverly bits and bobs. A nice flat one. And all we're basically doing is tracing each of the boxes that is on this background. So we're just going to overlap it basically. I'll speed through this in a moment. If you look on the right, you'll see every time you do this, you create a new layer. Okay, so just fast forwarded it to the end, so I've gone over all them layers. Now you can get rid of the uh, layer you started with. Okay. So now you've got a template. What I do at this point here is resave it as a Photoshop file and just save it as template or whatever you want to call it. So I'll show you a little bit more, but uh, I'm not going to go into massive details on this video on how to do a background. So those who haven't done one before just follow this so I just might have gone too quick there but what I went to is file place found a photograph that I already had and I'm just placing it on the uh, template so you notice it's at the bottom of them layers so everything else is on top of that uh, image that I've just brought in so I'm getting one of my circle tools here Added a new layer, put it to the top of all the layers. Make sure this is black. That's what you always want to be doing is fading your backgrounds to black on YouTube. If you don't uh, like feather the edges there, like I have done there, uh, it'll look stupid on when you get it onto your channel. So once you've done that, do what you want with one of these uh, layers gradients, overlays, textures, bevels, contours, whatever you want. Get it to how you like it, and once you've done it for one, you don't need to pee about trying to get it for every one. You just right click, copy layer style, and then right click on every other layer you want that to be, and paste layer style. So we're getting there, so we'll add some text, got an image. Image rotation 90, degree, 90 degrees. Click on your type tool. Type in whatever the name or whatever it is you want there. And you click on that uh, where I just done there. You can see you can click on all them little placeholders and drag it to the size you want. And again, you play about with this to your heart's content. Get it looking something like you want it to be. So once I've done this thing, nah, I don't, I don't particularly like this text. Back to your text tool, click on the text, so it's on AR Essence or something's there, and just press your down arrow key on your keyboard, and it'll rotate through all the text that you've got. Now if you haven't got many, send me a message, and um, I'll give you a link to a graphics pack with 440 megabytes of fonts, layers, backgrounds, templates, the whole thing. You'll probably never need anything more than what's in this pack. So once I got it to how I wanted it, I've right clicked on the layer, I've duplicated the layer, and now I'm just dragging it to its new position. So now I've got exactly the same uh, formatting on this side, because it's just a duplicate as I said. So that's basically it. I mean, you can play with that and add this, that, and the other to your heart's content. 
but have fun and show me what you've done.